Don't pick your skin, pick bandage. Hey guys, it's my face story here, and today I want to talk to you guys about my Accutane experience. I know I've talked about this a few times in the past, so hopefully I'm not like being a dead horse or whatever, but I think it's just good to have one place, like one video that I can refer you guys to um, about my experience while on Accutane. As we all know, acne friggin' sucks a lot. <laughs> um, people will tell you to try X, Y, and Z when you've already tried X, Y, and Z. People make assumptions about your skin or about the way you live your life based on your skin. It's just not the funnest disease to deal with. And at the point when I decided that I wanted to go on Accutane, I was at a really low point in my life. I feel like I had given up on everything. I just thought, you know, even if there is the risk of death, this sounds bad, but I would rather honestly die than be in this much pain and have my face feel like this, have my face look like this. I just, I was so depressed, I was not happy. So yeah, that was like, <laughs> sorry, this is like kind of deep. Um, that was the like main, decision main thing of why I wanted to go on Accutane. I was on Accutane about two years ago and it did work really, really well. And since then I, well, it did relapse. So my acne did come back. Um, it came back in like a bunch of cystic spots. I probably had like eight at one time, maybe more. And I went to my dermatologist and they recommended a second course and I said no. And I said no because I've just seen people do two, three, four courses and it still keeps coming back and it's like, where does it stop? And if this is just a band-aid, I don't wanna keep just temporarily healing it. Like it was fine at first, like that was what I needed, that was the kickstart I needed and I don't regret it one bit, but I do feel like if I keep relying on it, when is it ever gonna stop and am I ever gonna be happy with my skin? So I felt like I had to start looking at other factors. I didn't go on it a second time. Um, instead, I started changing my diet, my lifestyle, um, basically working on like stress reduction through exercise and yoga and stuff like that. The thing is, we can't be, as acne sufferer, you can't be like <sighs> angry or upset because someone else can eat dairy and not break out. Someone else cannot have a healthy lifestyle or drink all the time and not break out because we have higher levels of inflammation in our body called IGF-1. We have naturally higher levels of inflammation because of genetics um, compared to an average person. So maybe they can do these things and not break out, but since our inflammation levels are already high, we do them and then they go through the roof and that is why we break out. So we can't say just because this person does it who is not acne prone, that means that I should be able to do it too because that in itself is not true. I decided to go to Accutane because it was like, that was my last hope. I tried antibiotics, I tried every single like facial prescription cream, I tried everything over the counter, oil cleansing, um, what's that, caveman regimen, girl, <laughs> every day, but I tried it, I promise. So. That was it, two years ago I was on Accutane. Um, the first month I saw some noticeable results, you know, I started to see like some active acne dry up, there wasn't really any changes in scarring or anything like that, and psychological I didn't have any effects. Um, so like I knew, you know, it was gonna be a process, I wasn't feeling disappointed or anything, I just knew that I had to be patient and wait. Um, in the second month, that's when I started to see like definitely, definitely more improvement. I never got like a purging phase. A lot of people actually don't get an initial breakout. That is kind of a myth, says my dermatologist, so who knows actually how true that is. Um, <laughs> sorry girl, but it's true. And then the second month, most of my acne started to dry up some more. I noticed some difference with scarring. I would occasionally get like a new one here or there, but it did seem like it had, the process had slowed down a lot. Psychologically, I was trying, I was kind of seeing like different psychological effects, I guess. Um, I was feeling like more isolated and um, I guess a little bit sad, but not like for any reason, which was weird. And I always told myself that just because this drug um, makes people sad, like I can control it, like I can control myself, like I'm not gonna let that happen to me. Unfortunately, like that's not the way it works when you take a drug and that's the side effect that is a side effect sometimes. And it depending, it's not about how strong your brain is or how you're not gonna let it affect you. Sometimes it just does. Um, so that was 
really weird to experience that because I would just be sad sometimes for like no reason and lash out at people for no reason. Um, so yeah, it was really weird. Third month, okay, so I started to get really dry. And I guess by the second month too, I was getting a little bit dry. Third month, I was super dry, moisturizing all the time, had lower back pain, like a nine-year-old grandma. Like I would go to bend down and pick stuff up at work. Like I worked in retail. I'd be on my feet all day and I just remember being in such excruciating pain. Like I had to cut back on hours. I was using a heating pad every night. My back would hurt so bad. I would like wake up in the middle of the night every single night. Um, and it would take me like 20 minutes to get out of bed. So yeah, that luckily went away, but uh, the waking up in the middle of the night really kind of didn't. I feel like I still am a little bit insomnia now. Like I'll sleep probably like every other night, sleep through the night, but I feel like that's still not very good. <laughs> Especially since I uh, don't really have any reason to be getting up, like I don't have any kids or like anything like that, and I just get up in the middle of the night, so yeah. Um, yeah, third month I guess is like when I started to be like a lot more isolated, a lot more lashing out at people, super emotional, super bipolar. Um, I don't really talk about the psychological effects a lot, but it did affect me. It doesn't really affect me anymore, um, but it did affect me at the time. And yeah, so from there on out, I would say like I was on it for six months, 60 milligrams. And so like the fourth, fifth, and sixth month, pretty much all the same. Acne kept drying up. After the fourth month, I didn't really get any new spots, which was awesome. And at that point, I was like used to having clear skin. So I had all these hopes in my mind where I was like, oh, I'm gonna have clear skin forever. Like I'm never gonna get pimple ever again. And I really, really worked myself up, which I really wish that I wouldn't have done because, you know, I did have clear skin, like not a single pimple for probably six months plus a nine months post, which is like over a year. Um, not a single pimple, so to go from that back to battling even one zit a week again, it does take its toll on you. But yeah, just know if you do go on Accutane that it's not necessarily 100% a cure-all. Like you can still, you probably still will get some breakouts after, especially if your acne is hormonal. If you're going through changes, like if you take it when you're 16 and then you get acne again when you're 22, like obviously your hormones change throughout your life, so that could be another issue taking it at a certain age. Realize that acne isn't everything and like it shouldn't control your life. It doesn't need to be, it doesn't need to be that way. Um, I get that it sucks a lot and I completely understand if you want to take Accutane, I know why I took Accutane and I think it was the best choice for me at the time and I don't regret it at all. I just know it's really hard, scary choice to make. And one thing my dermatologist told me that I would tell you too, don't talk to people who have not taken the drug because they have mostly negative things to say. They mostly say like, you can never have kids, which is false. You'll get all these random diseases, which is usually totally false. It's like a 1% chance that something like that will happen to you. Just a lot of false information out there. Talk to people who have actually taken it because most people do have positive things to say, like me. Um, I don't regret it and I don't want to say I would recommend it because it's such a hard drug. I feel like that is your choice and your dermatologist's choice to make together. I just know that it did work pretty well for me and that it helped to clear my skin. <laughs> Sorry, I keep like looking around. <laughs> It did help to clear my skin like for a good amount of time, but it did not keep it clear. So I wish that I just would have known that. I wish my dermatologist would have talked to me about that or I wish someone would have talked to me about that because it was really heartbreaking to just like go through the same thing again, to just experience that all over again when I thought this is it, like I'm clear. And um, yeah, I wasn't. So I mean, I don't know if you guys can see, like I do have one just right here right now. And again, like they don't get as bad, especially since I cut out dairy. So cutting out dairy and cutting out like high high GI carbs is what has helped me to keep my acne under control now post Accutane. Other than that, natural skincare, getting rid of chemicals that can mess with your hormones or disrupt them, um, working out, meditating, things like that. That is what has helped me personally. Everyone's different. You guys know that. Some people can use one product or a face wash or a cream and it works amazing and then other people try every face wash and every product and every cream and nothing works and then they uh, start working out and then that works you know what I mean so it's just like you never know everything's different I guess in all my main side effects from Accutane were chap lips dry skin dry eyes um, ladies sometimes you will get dryness 
down there. It's just a side effect. It happens. It goes back to normal. But it did happen a little bit to me too, so whatever. Oh, oh and back pain. And sometimes like a little bit of head headache. But if you get too much of a headache, you definitely want to go to the dermatologist because or to the ER because your brain could be swelling. That's like how intense of a drug Accutane is. And I don't want anyone to take it like lightly, like, oh yeah, everyone should do it because that's that's not how it all is at all. I think if you are going to take it, don't take it for anyone but yourself. Um, don't take it because you're trying to impress anyone, you know? I took it literally because I was in so much like psychological and physical pain. Like I couldn't even sleep on the side of my face because it hurt so bad. I remember one time in class, I was talking to my friend, and I started laughing, and I had two cysts that just like popped, and there's blood all over my face in the middle of class. Um, and then obviously I told you guys psychologically, I'd get like mad sometimes for no reason, I'd get mood swings for no reason, I'd feel just like really anxious. Um, but I had anxiety before I realized because of my acne, and afterwards I feel like my anxiety kind of went away, and then I put two and two together and I was like, oh my god. I was having such bad anxiety, and I mean like feeling like tunnel vision, like almost like I can't see, like my throat's closing up, like I just like can't breathe, like so constricted anxiety, like I really don't know how to explain it unless you've experienced it yourself, it is terrible, like I never want anyone to feel like that. It helped actually with that um, in a weird way, but I would get like a little bit kind of like tense, anxious while I was on it. Again, it is like your choice and your dermatologist choice together. Don't ever feel like you have to do it because of them or because someone else wants you to. Only take it obviously if you want to, if you feel like it's what you need. And don't get your hopes up so so high that you'll never ever ever get it ever again in your entire life because chances are you're probably going to get at least one, at least one, come on, at least one. Yeah, that is my Accutane experience slash little talk about, walk about. I don't know, I have, have people ask me a lot, you know, do I feel like my methods now would have worked back then and my answer is truly honestly I don't know because I did take Accutane first and then did the second so I don't know if it still would have worked without it. I don't know if that like you know was a kick in the butt I needed and then now this is to maintain. I don't know if it would have worked without. I do know that my acne came back so I know it wasn't a cure um, but I, I, for that I, I don't know. Um, I don't regret taking it. I don't have any long-term side effects. There are people whose hair fall out, whose liver stop functioning, whose eyesight goes bad. Um, I, I do have a little bit of eyesight problems, but not terrible. Um, but yeah, just know that going into it, like it is a hardcore drug and you should absolutely 100% be following all the rules, be taking it seriously. Don't drink on it. I see that all the time. Do not drink on it, please. If, if you're not gonna be responsible enough to not drink for six months, then you should not be taking the drug. That It's as simple as that. So yeah, that is it. This video qualifies for a Vanish giveaway. So you guys can like, comment, subscribe, and comment down below um, your thoughts on Accutane. If you would take it, if you would not take it, if you have taken it. Maybe you've taken it 12 times. So let me know below. And yeah, that is it for today, guys. So I look forward to reading all of your comments and see what you have to say. All right, bye.